Hi everyone, it's Heidi Smith. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based here in the United Kingdom. And uh, today's project is this lovely card using the new Parisian Beauty, I think it's called. Parisian Beauty stamp sets and coordinating dies. Uh, look at this. So here you go. Lovely Eiffel Tower. Gorgeous vintage sort of postmarks, little accents. And it also we also have some fabulous paper that goes with it as well. I'm reaching around. My sound's probably gone awful because I'm reaching around to try and find it. Okay, so here's the paper. So the paper is called a Parisian Blossoms. And you'll see what lovely patterns there are in here. So obviously double-sided and they are slightly foiled. So here we go. We have this lovely mint macaron super soft colors petal pink and that's got writing in white and silver foil we have a lovely vintage postmark with suitcase it reminds me of an old stamp set we used to have um called traveler so it's a lovely it's a vintage one then we have this pattern here the reverse which is a lovely kind of filigree pattern with this one which is beautiful because you've got the floral um background and then lovely overlaid with silver blossoms on top then the reverse of the next one again lovely vintage filigree with beautiful blossom accents uh, fleur de lis and keys and then finally mint macaron with the lovely um parisian um eiffel tower in there as well lovely colors petal pink with cherry cobbler which is lovely to see cherry cobbler not being used for christmas but for something else instead so i have done something a little bit different which is a lovely card and it's a little bit different because it floats so there we have our eiffel tower you can see just on the side there on a piece of acetate just a little bit of fun um a little variation on a on an easel card um but um one that i think is is really pretty well i like it anyway so that's today's project let's get started so I've used Thick Whisper White for my card base. Obviously that gives a really nice um, firm base when you're doing something that has kind of um, dimension to it. And the first thing you're going to do is cut yourself a piece of card. And I'm working in centimetres today. So this is 29 centimetres by 10.5 centimetres. So half a sheet of A4 cardstock. And you're going to score that at 14 and a half. So that's as it, oh actually I better check. I think I might not have trimmed this down yet. 29, yeah. There we go. Okay. So um, the first score, move my blade out of the way, is at 14.5. And then the next one is at 25.5. So that just gives you a three and a half centimetre um, little uh, step at the front there and fold it in half. So you can see, oh, in fact, I've done a really rubbish job of uh, scoring that. Let's see if we can correct that slightly. Oh, yeah. That's what happens if not concentrating. OK, so. OK, once you've done that, then just fold and reinforce our front crease as well. So there we go. There we go. A little bit of bone folding soon sorts that out. So that's our card base. Then we're going to add some layers. And I suggest you put the layers of um, cardstock on and DSP first, um, just because it's easier to uh, to do that while it's before you put the acetate on. So the first thing we've got is a piece of card which is 10 by 10.5 centimeters. So it's 10 wide by 10.5 deep. And as you can see, I'm still using up my fuse which is great until I get it wrong. <laughs> so just make sure that you orient it correctly and just pop that in the middle of that top panel there. You then want a piece of paper and that's just half a centimetre smaller. So that is nine and a half by 10 centimetres. Okay. 
and then pop that in the center there. Okay. So the next piece that we want to do in our layers is our acetate. So this is 10 by 14 centimeters and our acetate is just going to lie over the top there. So we're going to put some tape on the bottom section here and being acetate a little bit, it's not tricky to work with but it's obviously it takes a bit of sticking. So I'm just going to pop two pieces of super sticky tape and you'll see I'm not going quite to the edges because my uh, acetate isn't quite um, to the edges either. So this lays over the top here so what I'm doing is lining it up with the rest of the card front and sticking it last. Okay so so far it's not looking particularly attractive um, but the magic will happen. So what I decided to do then was I've got a piece of card and I actually made it the same width on my original card. You'll see here just to kind of give it a bit of a um, of a frame when you sort of stand up which I quite liked. So we've got a piece of card which is exactly the same as this section here. So that's 10.5 wide by 3.5 high. So we can just stick that straight onto um, the front of our card because that's going to line up and that then covers our acetate join like so and then I've got a piece of whisper white card again half so this is 10 centimeters by three centimeters which we're going to use for our stamping I've already stamped and die cut the Eiffel Tower as you can see here you get two Eiffel Tower uh, dies one of which cuts out the outline of this lovely stamp and the other one gives you an intricate uh, die cut um, as well so you can see those here just to show you like so okay so those are beautiful now I was going to use those originally however when I designed my card I found that actually the the intricate ones are slightly taller um, and it didn't quite fit the design of my card so hence we just adapt slightly okay um so this is our piece of stamping i've got a piece here which is our stepper so it's 10 by three centimeters and nine and a half by two and a half centimeters so those can just layer up on top of each other and then uh, we'll pop those up on dimensionals as well So what I'm doing, don't forget with dimensionals, less is more. You don't need to cover the back with dimensionals. Um, I usually do, you know, on a longer piece, one at either end and then one in the middle, just to kind of support that cent centre piece. So this is going to go just on the inside here with a little border. There we go. That's all coming together. So what I've done, what I'm going to do now is that we're going to attach this to the front of our card and I've actually die cut a separate one in grey which I'm going to then offset behind it to cover up the glue on the back of our die cut. So when you're working with acetate, particularly with this one, because you're going to see the back of it, um, I want to pop my um, die in the centre. And now you can use, um, if you haven't got fast fuse or something similar, then I would recommend glue dots because they're nice and um, easily applied. You see here, just pop a couple of glue dots on there. I'm going to get stuck on stuck on my glue dots, okay? And then this is going to go just in the centre, and that's where having that piece of card that comes up to the top is perfect because it can sit straight on the top there. And then just fold that over like so. 
and then we can attach this to the pack. Now they are not quite symmetrical, so you've got a choice. You can either just pop it on as it is, or you can offset it slightly, which is what I quite like to do because it gave me a nice little bit of, of a shadow effect on the front. So again, just add some adhesive to the back of your die cut whatever your preferred adhesive is and just offset that very 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 slightly like so and that then gives you just you can see just a slight sh sort of hint of a shadow so that creates a die cut on the front then one the other beautiful thing that comes with these Guys, are two lovely words. Beautiful, fine script. One is amour and the other one is merci. So amour is love and obviously merci is thank you. So I'm going to use my so favourite technique for this in terms of adding uh, a bit of glue to the back. So a little puddle of glue, a bit of sponge and we're just going to dab that all over and one tip for for words is i t try and keep them in the same place otherwise you end up with glue on the front okay so i've got my word and try not to stick it to yourself and that's just going to pop across the centre of our panel. And then if you want to, you can do exactly the same as we have done um, with the other one. But obviously this time you're going to put the glue on the front. So making sure you're using a non-gluey bit of your sheet. Um, and the silicon sheets that stamping up cells is absolutely perfect for this. You're going to just add the glue to the front of your die cut. And then with it folded flat, just line that up very carefully. Now we're on to our panel. So we have our little panel here. Now this is really pretty. We're going to use some petal pink and some cherry cobbler for our sentiment. So the sentiment here is beautiful um, and it is using, it just says, follow your heart, it will take you to incredible places. So just pop that in the center. So I'm doing my sentiment first because I find that then much easier to add our decoration around it. Um, I only got my big block handy because I've been doing another project. So here we go. Right. So I've used a little bit of soft suede stamped off. Um, because you don't always want full strength colours for these. So I'm just going to stamp that off to give our little um, postmark. Okay. I'm going to use my fleur de lis next. And I'm using the petal pink for that. So, as far as possible. And with this, because it's very pale, you can actually stamp over it as well. Okay, that's probably enough. So all that is left to do is pop my ink pad away, bring my card back in, Add a little glue to the reverse of my panel 
and by stamping on a panel the beauty is if it doesn't go quite right you can stick another panel across the front. So there we have my floating Amour Eiffel Tower card. I hope you liked it um, I hope you have fun making one as well and obviously if you'd like any of the products that you've seen demonstrated today pop along to my Stampin' Up shop. The links are on my blog at flutterbyheidi.co.uk or at heidismith.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.